free radio streaming setup for your internet radio station. You're listening to DJ Radio 98.7. Free broadcasting software, free streamer app, and free radio streaming hosting. Everything you need to get your streaming radio station on the air. That's right, today we'll be setting up completely free radio streaming using two great hosting sites as well as be using free radio automation software with a built-in free radio streamer app. The radio automation program we will be using is Play It Live, which is a free version of a paid program, but it has no time limit or use restrictions, so it won't cost you anything. And most importantly, it has a built-in radio streamer app. Not only that, but it has multiple streams built in, which means you can stream to many sites at the same time, including free, paid for sites, and even sites that will pay you for streaming. So not only can you stream for free, but you can actually make money from it. That all coming up. Firstly, install Play It Live. The link is in the description. For more information on the installation, watch my video on free radio automation software, link in the description as well. When the program is installed and you have some music loaded, you can click this button to set up your radio streams. When this window pops up, you need to insert your host streaming information. There are two sites you can sign up for for free. They both have their pros and cons, but the magic of the Played Live streamer is that you don't have to choose. You can run both of them at the same time. The first site is caster.fm and the second one is listentomyradio.com. Caster FM is amazing in that you can see all your listener stats, including where in the world people are listening, but it is limited to 100 simultaneous listeners and a lower bitrate. These are actually fine because in the beginning you are very unlikely to have more than 100 simultaneous listeners and the bitrate is more than enough if you're using OG or AAC. Listen to my radio.com is slightly different in that your listener limit is 1000 simultaneous listeners and your quality has no limit so you can broadcast as high a bitrate of audio as you like depending on your internet speed of course. The downside to listen to my radio.com is that you can't see your listener stats. If you pay $5 a month you can add this to your account and then you'll be able to see your listener stats. So, which one do you choose? Well, you don't need to choose because you can run both of them at the same time. First, set up your Caster FM account and then your listen to my radio.com account. Both have a lot of info you need to insert, so before you do any signing up, pull out your notepad or Word document and type these four things. First your radio station name, then your basic short description of your radio station, then a longer description of your radio station. Also create an additional paragraph for extra info about your radio station including social media links and so on. This should be your actual information for Caster FM as they tend to cancel hosting if it's not legit, but listen to my radio.com doesn't seem to check. Also have a picture ready that is a small logo image or photo that you can use as your radio station image. For Caster FM, start by clicking this register button. Fill in your basic information with a password you will remember or write it down somewhere safe and use an email address that you can access because they will send you an email to validate your account. When you receive the email, click the link to validate and then log in with your email and password. On this initial page, simply put in your station name and select answers from the drop-down box for country, language, time zone and channel genre. Click the create channel button, then on this page copy and paste in your radio station name three times. Then select time zone again, then here is where you will paste in your main paragraph of information. You can see the minimum and maximum text required here. Then insert your picture. Under this tab, paste in the information that will show up on your home page. You can also add some social media and contact information here. Then click Submit. Go back to your dashboard. Now you can see your server is still offline, so click here to turn it on. You should get this pop-up if all the content is filled in correctly. Then you can see here that your streaming server is online. 
You can leave this like this for now. We'll come back to this again. For listen to my radio.com, start by applying here with this window. Only use letters and numbers for the password for listen to my radio.com. You won't be able to insert symbols like these. Then click here and wait for the email to arrive. It can sometimes take a while, but if you don't receive it, check your spam folder, and if not, then just resend it. Eventually, you will get an email with a link to click, then log into your account. Then make sure you go to each of these and insert the information from your Word document. Insert your station name and copy and paste all the other information here. Then use your station name for the domain link as well, but only use lowercase letters for this. Click Next and then on this page, choose whether you want to stream on Icecast or Shoutcast. Then choose a server country and create a password for your stream. Now on your dashboard, you can see three tasks you need to complete. Click on each one of these and complete these tasks. Go through each one and copy and paste all your text and so on. If you click here to start your server and you see this, you can do a few more, but often all you need to do is wait a short while. What does seem to help is to change the server location, which you can do here. Then click Start Server. This will change from status off to status on with this little green indicator. You can also see this notice. Now go back to your Play It Live app and click here to set up your streams. Click Add Stream, then copy and paste from your caster.fm account. Make sure you choose the right server type. Copy the server host name and paste it in here. Copy the server port and paste it in here. Your username is source, so paste that in here. Then copy this broadcast password and paste it in here. If you are using Icecast, then you will need this mount point too. Shoutcast does not need this. Be sure to name your stream. Put your station name in here. Set up your audio settings. For Caster FM, it can only be 96 kilobits per second. Set these and then click OK. You can test this stream by clicking here. If you see that it fails, then go back to your dashboard and check that your server is on. If not, then click here to start the server. You should see this pop up and your server should be showing online. Now if you start the stream again, you should see it connect and show data transferring. Stop the streaming and add your next stream for listentomyradio.com. Choose the right server type. Copy this IP address and paste it in here for your server address. Copy the server port and paste it in here. For listen to my radio.com, be sure to not mix up your admin password with your streaming password. Copy your streaming password and paste it in here. Put your station name here. Set your audio settings here and for listen to my radio.com you can set it to whatever you like. Name your stream here and then click OK. Then on your Play It Live streamer you should see both stream addresses. When you click start all streams should run and you should see this. If you don't see this happening then make sure your streaming hosts are both turned on. Also click here to have your streaming start automatically if you lose connection. Now to listen to your listen to my radio.com station, use this link and to listen to your Caster FM radio station, click this link. You can embed this information into your website or simply share the link on social media for your listeners to tune in. With the grind, I could change in my mind. Daily pass me the jack right as fuel got me hazy, about to one pack all these. You are now up and running, but you can also make money by sending additional streams to these places that place adverts on your streams. To learn more about that, click on my video about making money online with radio streaming or check the description for a link to that video. Otherwise, you can learn more about radio broadcasting and radio broadcast software from these other videos. See you in the next one. You're listening to DJ Radio 9.0.
98.7. Always lost it.